I'm meeting up with one of my old eating buddies today. You might know him. A guy by the name of Brandon Clark. Incidentally, the only person on planet Earth to have ever pointed a handgun at me. The safety was on. I think it was his idea of a joke. Fortunately for me, I bring lots of spare underpants with me on these trips. Anyway, let's get moving. Hit traffic. We're on the way to a, a place called Big Pie in the Sky in Kennesaw today, where they serve up something called the Carnivore Challenge. Here we are. Big pie in the sky, blah, blah, blah. big pie in the sky pizzeria. So the thing we're doing today is called the carnivore challenge. And um, I think it was on that show Man V Food. I don't know if you won. It costs 50 bucks. If you win, you don't technically get it free, but you do win $250. But you don't win $250 because the meal costs $50. So you win $200. I probably could have articulated that better, but um, that's... That, that's the deal. I can see Brandon in there. I am about seven minutes late. Hopefully he's not too angry. And if he is angry, I hope he doesn't have his gun. He doesn't look angry. I think he is trying to get me really hungry. Uh, I like the footwear, by the way. Hey, thank you. I, I remember the Crocs from last time. They yes, weren't quite that loud. Green. They were green. Yeah, I think they were green, but... but uh, these match all of them. They match my red shirt, my green shirt, yellow shirt, all the shirts, so I'm good to go. Look at that. It makes yes. sense. <gasps> what is I this? I told you, you, go, you got to get this on your Hummer. <laughs> I didn't even test drive this car. He says, hey, here's the key. You want to test drive? I said, no, don't worry about it. My magnet fits. Let's go sign these papers. <laughs> all right, this is it. Oh, thank you very much, sir. So this is the, it's quite a modest wall of fame. Although I see the guy from Man V Food on it. He, I, don't, I don't think he finished. So I technically shouldn't be on the wall, but- um, it, it's, it's His a, teammate was the one that-, that uh, tossed it. Tossed it? Tossed it, what, he, th he threw it? Yeah, no, he threw up. Oh, he, th he threw up. Look at all this stuff, man. I feel like I'm on, on a TV show here. Well, you've got like fancy audio equipment, you've got the lights, you've got about three different tripods. You say it's 32 inches? Is it 32 or 30? 30. 30? 30. 30 inches. It's only 30. <laughs> only 30. You've got business cards? Yeah. It's like I American Psycho. Drugs, so We're here at Big Pie in the Sky in Kennesaw, Georgia. I'm here with my good friend, Brandon. The garbage disposal clerk, I'm gonna put, um, you don't need to flex. And we're doing the, uh, the infamous carnivore challenge, 30 inches across, but if you win, uh, you get 200 bucks, I think. You ready? I'm ready. Who's gonna... You didn't even join in? I thought you were gonna join in. Can you put my, by your mouth on mine? Like so. No, no, oh, no, no, for real. Yeah, no, cut, cut, cut. Okay, you're gonna count down? Okay, five. F from five? Four, it's uh, not normally from three, come on now. Okay, three, two, one, eat. Thanks, okay. Lucas. Give me a Thank you one. very much. All right, Lucas. Okay. Good lord. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. And today we're trying to win some prize money. Yeah, ham, tire sausage, hamburger, <coughs> bacon, and more bacon. Must resist urge to do the bacon kid voice. Can't help it. Bacon is good for me. <laughs> At least I don't have to tell you what's in there now. Ba uh, bacon? Brandon's already covered that. <laughs> they call this the carnivore pizza because what makes this difficult is not necessarily the diameter of the thing. It's the fact that it's just got tons of meat on top. And uh, yeah, not a single vegetable in sight. Yep. It's a car carnivore pizza, so they're um, actually uh, just all meat. Um, Vegetables would be preferred since it won't be as salty, but now on this one, you can't get any vegetables. Yeah, matter of fact, this thing comes as is, so you don't get to choose your toppings. It's one set pizza. But look at this, I think Brandon forgot his fancy mic. <laughs> you forget the mic? Oh, uh, no, there's one there, but this is just an extra. The Row 2 mic actually internally, so you can do some private eye stuff with this too. So it's recording right now. This video is not sponsored by Rode Mics, just so you know. It's not. Although I, I do use Rode Mics a lot, they're, they're pretty good mics. I tend to set mine up before we start filming though. <laughs> you drinking by the mouth? Hello. 
because you check some pancakes, you put the straw in the syrup, you drink the syrup, so you don't get it all over your hands. True story. The slices seem to be getting bigger. Ugh. You gotta at least try and eat like a pizza slice. Yeah, I'll make a token effort to eat it like a proper pizza slice, but really there are too many toppings for that to be practical. <laughs> Did you hear that phlegm? Ugh, some dude badly expectorating in the background. <laughs> Tastes like it's got hamburgers on top. <laughs> All the meat I got, I think. The hamburger, fried sausage, pork, and the bacon. We took too long with the with the over the top ultra professional setup. The crust is almost inedible now. Like a cracker. It was a little dry, but I you know, I can't blame the restaurant for that because it took us flipping ages to get set up. I don't know why, but by the time we started, the pizza was cold. But to their credit, still tasted really good. Eight and a half minutes in. Like a napkin, so. Um, I was just. When you stuck it in my face earlier, it did actually smell quite fresh, so. Yeah, it was fresh. I didn't use it. <laughs> now, you know, the more videos I do with other people, the more I realize how ill prepared I actually am. I should probably invest in a, a mouth rag. It would certainly save on, uh, on napkins. I'm gonna put some of this on there, otherwise, I'm just gonna have a big pile of meat at the end. It's gonna fall off. Well, roll it like a burrito. That's, that was the idea. Let's see how this works. <laughs> yeah, he's skeptical, but this this turned out to be a genius move. That's why they say I'm 11th ranked eater in the world. <laughs> That's cold. <laughs> I had to get that in there. I'm a problem solver. What can I say? I, I'm adapting under pressure. And uh, I should have eaten the whole pizza this way, actually, thinking about it. I just realized. Dude, I didn't ask. Is there a time limit? An hour. Oh, no. Plenty of time. That shows just how little attention I pay to my surroundings. Because there's a big sign at the beginning on the on the door that I walked through saying one hour. I see you flicking the debris over here. I saw you. <laughs> no, no, I was just thinking, did he throw crust on my sign? Because I was like, man, this guy is rolling over here. I think he's a pretty 50-50 split so far. Making me sweat a little bit now. The channel? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> those, Damn. Those business cards do come in handy. A little sticker? Okay. I'll give you one after we're done. I tell you, I, I've never seen anyone do self-promotion quite like Brandon. The, he, this guy's a master of that craft. <laughs> I think he left a big stack of business cards there too. Hey, wait a second. Is this your piece of pizza? Mm -hmm. I, was this his piece? I think this is his piece. Oh, but you touched the last <laughs> I think the camera is ignoring my face because I have the beard, right? So it thinks you're the face and I'm not the face. Oh yeah, my face is bigger. You do have a bit of a swell head. A bigger head. Yeah. <laughs> swell head? Brandon does have a big head, but it's it's a beautiful head nonetheless. That's not. I'll take care of it, don't worry. Don't worry. No, I say, you can there until the end. Should be a spoon for this pot. I got one in my bag. You think I'm lying? One thing I will say about this pizza is the topping. I mean, the base was it's a little crispy, but the toppings are delicious. They yeah. still taste good now after what 20 minutes. It was cold. Yeah, it was cold. I'll take care of your uh, your extra meal. Don't, don't worry. You want to take this as well? Man. I'll get this as well. Don't worry. Yeah, it's, it's all right. Yeah. yeah, I'm putting in some overtime with these toppings. Look at this. A warm embrace between friends in the background there. Nice little Easter egg. The like of which warms your very heart. This is giving me heartburn now. Yeah. Yeah, the, the salt's starting to get pretty punishing now, so this thing's repeating on me. Still, we're, we're almost there. And I should clarify, I said you win $250. If you finish this, it's not. It's $200 from which you have to deduct the uh, price of the pizza. Still, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you at the next one. I should have been passing out business cards.
I think that's 75% of the winnings for me. Yeah. And 25% <laughs> I'm joking. It's a team effort. Oh yeah, it's definitely a team effort. Team effort. There's no iron team there is, to spell it wrong. I agree with you. There's, I'll pretend like I'm still eating. Keep doing it. Put some marinara left. Get all of it. <laughs> Get all of it. <laughs> we, I think we're done. Well, you got you got a little, just a little bit of uh, something there. Yeah, well, you threw some over here. Bob <laughs> told me about you. <laughs> okay. Bam. Do, do we, we're gonna do a cheers. Oh, cheers. There we go. We are uh, some amount of money richer. Go take a look at um, Brandon's channel if you're into light-hearted hijinks. You know, and he sells pickles. You didn't. You, well, you, I can't you, ship you, overseas. Though. You, did, you didn't bring me any pickles. I do got some. Oh, you got and some? And gooey butter cake. You know what that is? Yeah, you gave me some up before. Oh, well, I got some more. Gooey butter. So I don't even have to ask for dessert. I'm gonna get some of Brandon's no. gooey butter no. cake. Yeah. Pay the man. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. That's your gas money home. <laughs>